everybody and welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, we are here in a relatively peaceful scene compared to the uh, events I guess of last episode. The factory over there is not a place I think I want to return to anytime soon. Lots of people with flamethrowers wanting to uh, burn us to death. Uh, but we came across this little settlement here. Um, I guess we should probably go and say hi on behalf of the Minutemen. Um, I am actually tired, so maybe these guys have some. Hello. We're in some real trouble here. I hope you can help. What? What kind of trouble? I don't know what we're going to do. Are they all ghouls? I've got produce for sale, along with some other supplies we scrounged up. Let me know if you want to trade. Um, well, I'm okay right now. I just wanted to kind of say hi. Um, Good to see you. You're just a worker. Who are you? Welcome. Just a worker. Who's this guy? Hey there. Wise man. Welcome to the slum. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? Uh, it's pretty clever making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. It's pretty clever making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. Well, it's certainly something, all right. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably True. noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. Sounds fair. Why did the mayor throw you out? We're ugly. We turn feral and kill people. We give the kids nightmares. All the usual stuff we get from you smooth skins. Now, it's true that there was one incident in Diamond City where a ghoul turned feral and someone got hurt. But I ask you this. How many humans have suddenly turned violent and killed someone? I've seen it's it more times than I care to admit. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. That's actually pretty nice. I think it's a great idea. You really think so? Because if you do, we could definitely use some help. We can't sell tarberries without traders. And trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that will oh prey God. on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. That sigh is a appropriate sigh. Wipe them out. Nice to be on the open road. Good neighbor was starting to wear out. It's welcome. Uh, what makes you say that? Good neighbor was a good place to look for work, but a crappy place to hang your hat. Let's put it this way: you can't get much rest when you're sleeping with one eye open. Still, it was the best place for me to set up shop. Diamond City's goons would have run me out of town, and wandering the Commonwealth alone isn't the brightest plan when you're hard up for caps. It's fair. In times like these, caps make little sense. They might make little sense to you, but right now, I need every cap I can get. Um. Are caps really that important to you? I don't have much of a choice. I don't usually go around sharing stuff like this, but you've been pretty straight with me, so I'm gonna be straight with you. It's those two asshole, <clears throat> those two idiots you saw me talking to at the third rail. Winlock and Barnes. Now, they've been hounding me for months, and it's been driving off clients. No one wants to touch me once they learn I used to run with the gunners. And I figured if I could get enough caps together, maybe I could buy them out. Uh, just kill them and be done with it. If it was that simple, I would have done it already. Winlock and Barnes have a small army of gunners with them at all times. They might decide to just keep the caps and put a bullet in my head for good measure. If I set up a place to meet them, I'm sure they'd roll in with everyone they've got. Unless... 
Maybe you and I could pay them a little visit and put an end to them before they realize what's going on. Maybe, you maybe. That look on your face. Let me just say that I wouldn't even be asking if I didn't trust you. If you need my help, I'm there. Wow. I don't know what to say. Truth is, I haven't been able to rely on anyone since I was a kid. Everyone I've met has either tried to rip me off or plant a knife in my back. But you, you're different. We see eye to eye on almost everything. And I have a funny feeling you actually care about what happens to me. That's why I asked for your help. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make this easy on you. If you feel like helping me with this, head over to the Mass Pike Interchange and we'll take them down. If you don't, I'm not going to hold it against you. Either way, thanks for hearing me out. It's nice to know that you care. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right, so, a couple of things. Where are those super mutants? I hope it's not the ones at the array. Break heart banks, where's that? Oh, it's just up ahead. Well, it's kind of on the way. And uh, where's the mass pike relay? Oh, okay, that's, that's quite a bit further away. Actually, it's, to be fair, it's just kind of south of Red Rocket. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's probably kind of a bit more out in the open, so... Sorry. Um, didn't mean to, uh, let's, um, let's scout out these super mutants, I think. But, I'm wondering if these guys can put me up in a bed. I don't think they're going to. I think it's going to be, like, all going to be owned. Yeah, it's a shame I can't, like, buy a room for the night or something. It'd be nice if there was that kind of option, but there isn't. Uh, there's a little diner over there. I wonder if there's like a sleepy bag or something in there. Nah, it's just wreck. Just wreckage. Okay, well, looks like we're going to be going through the night. Now, I don't really fancy taking on a horde of super mutants. Um, but if we can, who knows, maybe... Can we sleep on these things? Uh, who knows if we could maybe um, like sneak up on them, get a drop on a few of them. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Uh, yeah, so let's kind of along this bank, shall we say. I mean, at least it's good to know that they're Is that a Mr. Gutsy over there. Some, oh, some bloke flies who seem to have seen So Mr. Gutsy. It's a standard, it's a book standard Mr. Gutsy, so who knows? What do you reckon? Mid-eye. Compact inhibitor. Just try and hit that. Let's go for it. Whether or not we're gonna like, attempt 
to um, Firstly, for some reason, tap didn't work the first time, I don't know why, so I got thoroughly confused. Secondly, I'm not taking that thing on. Uh, we're going round. Because, yeah, clearly that is way beyond my reckoning. <laughs> if I could lead that thing, though, over to the super mutants, now that would be a fight, wouldn't it? are over there as well because I feel like this probably guarding some good things but don't know Let's see, I need to work out what run is because that always seems to elude me sprint is V see anything to tell the truth. Just kind of shooting blindly. Okay, got him. No idea where I am right now or what is even shooting me. there have we now 
now that we're better, the infection spreads. Is it? Is that what's hurting me? The infection. Uh, okay. We, look, we've got some antibiotics. I don't know why I'm so bad today. Um, you're probably like, yeah, you're bad every time, Phil. But honestly, uh, why are we still parched? Let's take some more purified water. Okay, let's try and get McCready back up. We took out two super mutants, to be fair. I think McCready's up on this hill, yeah. He's not the only one left because there's like, oh, there's a hill dog me over here. Let's do that. A super mutant butcher with a skull is, it's not good. <laughs> Oh yeah, caffeinated. We 
are caffeinated. Let's try and get up in here. We might be able to get some like, natural cover against these. Uh, oh, there's a bed there. Marksman hardened bits in automatic something or other. But I didn't quite see what. It's probably just a pipe rifle, right? Uh, yeah, it's a pipe rifle. Uh, it's no real use, to be honest. It's pretty cool, though. It's got like a big mag. It's automatic. Marksman powerful pipe bolt action rifle. No, not pipe. Yeah, we can sleep on that mattress, but I want to take out those. Uh, ideally, you know, we want to take out the uh, other two super mutants first. We can try and find where they are. Maybe we can take them out with a well aimed. Uh, there they are. It's foggy as hell, everybody. It's foggy as hell. <laughs> Let's try and get some food, I think. I'll take some corn. It'd be nice if we could actually make something just with corn. Like corn on the cob. Can we do this in our... Um,
if it's not pitch black, then it's just exceptionally foggy. It's like, I can't win, can I? <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll sleep till daytime. It'll be nice and bright. Yeah, we should be able to see if something's coming to attack us. Nah. Bunker. 
No, I swear to God, this better be it. Ah, sure, let's get Black Fly Gland. I'm gonna avoid this bloody assault tron. Blood bug of proboscis. Everyone talking at once like that is just like, I, I can't deal with that today. I don't know why. I think I'm quite stressed out today by this. I was stressed out by like FIFA earlier. Um, I recorded that. It was not a good episode. And uh, now this is doing my head in with the controls. The thing is, I would use my controller like, more often, but it just does this annoying thing where every single time I shut down my computer, it loses all connection. Like, it, I'm not talking about, oh, it turns off. I'm like, it loses all connection. Why is there power armor up here? Am I not in my power armor? Of course. That's why I can get out my power armor. I'm not in my power armor. Fucking idiot. Because I woke up in my bed and my power armor was over here. Okay, well, the plus side is we can go do that cooking now. That's hilarious. I'm raging at the game. And it was me all along. That's hilarious. I mean, it's not. It's tragic, but... Okay. cleared. Okay, we've got some mole rats up ahead. I don't think that's too much of a problem. Let's just uh, sneak you up. They're glowing on mole rats.
wow, he has a lot of cool stuff on him. The hell is he doing there? And who the hell is he? Uh, what did we get there? We got uh, some sort of flyer, I think. The treasures of Jamaica Plain. Okay. Well, if we get round to it, we'll be sure to check that out. this bunker. Aha! That looks like a bunker to me. We know the code at least. Paladin Brandis. Freeze. One more step and I'll, I'll blow your damn head off. Chill out. Who sent you? How did you get in here? Are you Brandis? What? Who are you? Where did you hear that name? I followed the distress beacons left by your team. Their hollow tapes led me here. The others? What, uh, what happened to them? They're dead, Paladin. I recovered their tags. You, you, you did? Thank you. This, this really means a lot to me. I tried to go back for them, you know. There was nothing I could do, not alone, but, but I'd hoped You've been through a lot to find me. I should... I should give you something. I've collected a lot over the years. Technology, odds and ends. If you see anything you want, take it, take it. The Brotherhood needs you, Paladin. It's time you reported in. No, there's no going back. Not for me. Not anymore. What have you been doing all this time? Try to do some recon, explore a little, but I'm, I'm all alone. It was, it was just too much, too, too much of a risk. So I've been hiding so long. Three years? Yes, 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 a, about that. Too long. Are you sure you won't reconsider? We need you, Paladin. No, there's no going back. Not for me. Not anymore. Well. Are you going to be all right? Well, I'll manage. I'm so used to hiding and fighting. Everyone. Everything. Is that all? I live alone. Avoid other people. Everyone. Everything. What do you want? I could let you sleep here, I suppose. That's all right. Or, uh, or try the food. I don't have much, but if you're hungry, the only other oh, thing I have pie. is my gun. And... No, no, I still need it. I, I can't let you have it. I'll see you later. Goodbye. And, uh, and thanks. Spoiled the fusion core. Okay, well, we'll take some duct tape. I mean, at least someone was alive, I guess. And luckily we didn't have to uh, fight him. Sorry, we'll take the flame of fuel. Combat rifle, okay. Combat chest armor. Uh, as much as I can, McCready, because you're going to be carrying it all in a minute, buddy. And look, there's the final distress signal. Brotherhood of Steel Recon Team 429 Alpha. Final report. Our mission has failed. Six hours after insertion, my company was ambushed. We lost five nights and exhausted our power armor reserves. We scuttled the armor to prevent looting, and then retreated under fire, abandoning our supplies. 
I was separated from the two remaining members of my team within a week. Both are missing. Status unknown. Hey. Let's uh, give him some of this stuff. Uh, you can have that. You can have that. But we did reinforce chest armor. Uh, I pocketed, they're both pocketed, so might as well just give them that. Um, we got a combat rifle which uses 45.45 caliber. What was the um, the reaction of 0.45 to 70, which we don't have? So, the combat rifle is actually alright, isn't it? Does 30 damage, what's that compared to like a 10 mil? A little bit less. Okay, probably needs to be upgraded a little bit then, I would say. Just give him the minigun for now. Well? As we're out of ammo for it. Well, I mean, I guess Brandis is okay. Fair enough. We found him. We need to get back to dance and tell him what's going on, basically. Um which is quite a long way away <laughs> uh, but yeah it's basically not that way yeah let's have a wander then shall we I feel a little bit sorry for him but also I don't know what do you think he kind of there was an, a whiff of Perhaps cowardice about him to just kind of like run away to a bunker and just like sit there. But also, like, can you blame the guy? I don't want to go near those Marlow gigs. No, 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 no. Who the hell's that? He looks like he's part of the Minutemen. Hey Preston. Man, I don't think we've met, but your time is impeccable. Preston Guy. What? Commonwealth Minute. How's that Preston? I'm all over this. How is this Preston? Right, let's kill these people. Hey. Hey man, I don't think we've met, but you're your not Preston Garvey. Preston Guy. Commonwealth Minutemen. You're not Preston Garvey. Say what, man? What? Close. You really need to get a better overcoat. And you forgot to pin up the hat. Still, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, shit. Radio alarm signal, green briar. Okay, can't make out what the hell that one is. 
this. Automate this alarm. Okay. That one as well. Well, never mind. <laughs> That's weird. Oh my god, I can't believe we just had like someone trying to impersonate Preston Garvey of all people. Hilarious. I mean, of course, we had to blow him away. We can't have him wandering around. It's a red chest in there. Oh shit. Feeling that might belong to the chemist vendor. 
together, so let's just uh, take that and be on our way, be greedy, right? Hey, sleeping out in the open like that in the Commonwealth seems to be a pretty dumb idea, so... Why is there a random monkey sat on the side here? Running low on bullets? Hopefully we can avoid that Milo counter by kind of taking a bit more of a left turn here. Boy oh boy. I mean, the thing is, I think I was talking last episode about how, like, I appreciate there's a lot of us just kind of walking around, but that was the kind of idea of this playthrough and also if we hadn't been walking around if we had just fast travelled or whatever we would never have met fake Preston Garvey so that's cool this appears to be some sort of chem station here maybe they've got some leftovers yeah, they've got some bowl caps and some ammo I guess somebody was making chems can't say I blame him it's a pretty uh, rough existence out here turn anybody to uh, narcotics I think even Frank's I don't know actually I think I've taken like jet before or something like that probably want to stay around the back of this the thing about this shotgun is it's really good but my god if you're not at optimal range i.e. about 5 feet away then uh, it will do zero damage, <laughs> which uh, it can be pretty bad. So I'm actually probably way better off just using the, the pistol. Oh uh, yeah, with the level up, I think I was saying that I last level up I just put into charisma. So even though I didn't want Frank here to have high charisma because I actually wanted to actually as a character that wasn't the way I wanted to go I have to have I think charisma 6 to unlock the perk which allows you to actually have um, supply chains around your settlements which um, if you do any sort of settlement building is actually completely essential like there's no kind of way of getting around that especially if you're playing um, you know on survival like I am so you can't just pick up a load of stuff and fast travel somewhere else or do something like that it's it's yeah, optional to do that so um, if I show you what I mean so our charisma at the minute is three and we need local leader yeah which requires charisma six so I'm just gonna have to basically put things into charisma which kind of sucks means the next two levels or next three levels are not gonna actually improve us um, also, I don't know if I can respect, but I might try and give it a go because the big guns thing is not going to work because having used that minigun, you can see the amount of bullets needed to actually take down something is like an immense... Oh dear. Fred O'Connell. He's got some Brahmin meat. Brahmin meat. Mercenary. Cup. Army helmet might be quite good. They're gunners. What's this? Some lemonade that I can't pick up. I have much over encumbered, am I? 251. I should wear that, shouldn't I? I can wear a military cap and that. But apparently, I can't wear that. That and that. It's weird. Um, I pick up anything here that I can drop. Scattered laser musket. I'd rather use my combat rifle to be fair. Uh, my righteous authority to be fair. So yeah, I'll keep that pistol Wait, though. We need that? No, we don't need that. Also, it's evidence of my murdering of the fake Preston Garvey. So what's that sound? weird. Oh, hello. Look at this. They've got turrets and a wall. 
that's an interesting looking salmon. Those turrets better not target me. That's a lot of turrets, man. That's the sort of salmon we need. Where's this place? Let's go have a look. Okay, I was going to say they're not targeting me, are they? There's something over there that's targeting. Oh, there's like raiders. Rust devils.